this Sony SLV679HF VCR has been damaged from overvoltage to the power supply. The previous owner plugged this 120 volt unit into a 220 volt source and immediately blew up the fuse along with several other components. And here you have to first desolder the metal case that's protecting the power supply. And I have already done that before. And then you just have to remove the metal case in order to expose the power supply. And it's on the right side of the main board. The fuse here can be seen. It has been vaporized. And even with a new fuse, it will blow immediately when I plug in the unit to the correct voltage source. So I had to trace the power supply for any apparent defective element or damaged component. And all the capacitors look fine, although that does not necessarily mean they are fine. However, in the over voltage condition, generally, you will see some sign of damage. For example, the last unit that I repaired, which was plugged into 220 volt power source, had the main capacitor blew up, literally. And uh, I checked the secondary fuse, which is uh, ICP. It's called uh, ICP N5, IC protector, and it's a fax acting fuse. And in this case, faster in relation to the other fuse, but for an ICP, it's a normal acting fuse, which is usually used with a non-inductive load. So that shouldn't be the problem. Um, I tested and also tested to be good. So here I am looking at the primary power supply and Upon closer look, I can see the class X2 capacitor, which is the black 0.1 microfarad. And here is the transformer, which is also an inductor or coil with the copper wires. And the one thing that I notice from observation is that there is a wire detached from the base which means it's not going to work and then between the transformer and the class X2 capacitor there is a variable resistor which is known as voltage dependent resistor VDR and what it does is that when the voltage increases dramatically the resistance decreases dramatically and is usually used to protect the circuit from over voltage condition and this one is burned out it literally caught fire and the top part of it has been destroyed and you can see some of the soot from the fire and I think in the process of burning it may have damaged the transformer and one of its wires which is why you can see this wire sticking out here and these two elements have to be replaced before I can troubleshoot any further and since I don't have this type of transformer I think I will just leave this board as it is.